This week, Garen and Ellie get their aquaponic system to the point they can add water. We begin the artwork for the pantry barn doors, and she makes a colorful face mask. I'm gonna build a box for some of the electronics like the air pump and then I also have a solar backup air system that I will be eventually putting in. I don't have any more lumber left because we use a lot of it on the doghouse. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some pallet inerts and that should do the trick. So I'm gonna start ripping these pallets down. I got my pallets all stripped down and the center board's out of them so use these guys to build a quick box and then I'll probably put the same siding we use on the doghouse and actually I think I have enough roofing left over that I'll be able to patch a roof together. Got the box made. So to put some siding on this, I have a couple bigger pieces. I'm gonna start with those, and then I'm gonna move into the small, littler pieces. I don't have enough to just do it, so I'm just gonna kinda of patch it together. And I think with paint and trim, it'll still look really good. Hi, sweet girl. You gonna help me paint? I'm gonna paint these boards up so Gary can cut them up for trim. All right, we're in the middle of sanding a little bit more. The center section doesn't have to be sanded as much because that's where the artwork's going. Try to get around the edges and some of these seams, get these things a little flatter and take out some of the lines and funny little things. Take some fill and we'll fill those uh, little creases in, things that might have got bumps or whatever, and sand those down so that everything's ready for stain. It's just another really beautiful door. You're doing really good work here. It's gonna be fun. the commitment <laughs> issues that artists have. Hmm, but I, if I waited a little bit, I could do it better. So okay. Dad, yes. sketch it out. This is going to be the hummingbird side of the door. Okay. This is the thinner door, right? Okay. Is this thinner? Yeah, it's a thinner one. Slide It'll this break way. off. It'll Both break ways. off. It slides from that edge to that edge. It's two doors. Two doors. They meet in the middle. Oh. Yeah. yeah, the hummingbird is facing in this direction. Yeah. Okay. It gotcha. faces the flower. Yeah, gotcha. Hey, and follow the logic. Know where See the... See how the there, right? Yeah. You know where do you have the rest of this? I'm just, just. No, yeah. And that's, yeah, I used to it's going to be right in here. Yeah, the wings. room for wings. So the wings really. All right, you two, what are you up to? Aunt Debbie came down to have some work done on her car. I have a hole in my windshield washer fluid thing. It's not the crack on the top because I've seen it leaking from the bottom. So it took me a while, but I ordered one and we're gonna see if we can install it. All right. Windshield washer fluid, which is really important. Especially with the, when you're driving up the muddy road. <laughs> Thank goodness for bottles of water in the car. <laughs> which has helped. I'm gonna go grab a tool set real fast. Interesting little contraption for all your window washing needs. It is, isn't it? 
you to hold that up and be like, what is this? She'd be like, mm, hand what sanitizer is this? Or, or something. <laughs> this would be good for that game show. What is this item? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually looking up the drip. Hey Debbie, I think there's a hole in your windshield wiper. You there. think so? <laughs> now you know. I'm not touching it until it's dripping. Okay. <sighs> Success! That is the weirdest looking part I have ever seen in my life. Bees. Huh? Here? Yeah, how does this You can hear that? Yeah. That's what that was? That swarm, the buzzing noise. I thought it was wind. Mm -mm. That was bees. This is the old stuff, but it looks clean enough. It takes a lot of focus. Okay, I don't want to dump the rest in that just in case okay. there's guck. Okay. Hit it! Yay! Okay. It's all done. Done. I don't have any more roofing material. We were out looking, and we're gonna put a solar setup on this anyway for a backup system. We have the solar panels already. They would actually make a nice roof. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Put these on and glue them together and. Put them at a bit of an angle and make them the lid for our box. Nice. That's a really good idea, dude. I should make enough structure in, these, in this piece to be just fine as a lid, I think. I might put one across the back just to screw my hinges to. Okay, I got the lid on and working good. It opens and closes nicely. I decided too to go through and put a bead of caulking down each of the seams. That way everything is sealed from water coming in through the sides. We're gonna have an air pump in there and some solar electronics. So the least amount of water we can get in there, obviously the safest. And then this is gonna have trim to all the way around. So all this open stuff is gonna be sealed as well. I think at this point, I'm gonna get some paint on here. I think it's time to put the trim on this bad boy here. I don't have nails for the finished nail, so gotta use hammer nails again, but it's all right. Put some trim on this puppy and the box is gonna be finished. All right, box is all trimmed out. It's really good, I think. So we got the solar panel roof on it. Box itself looks pretty good. Kind of pieced together in there, obviously, but you're not gonna see the inside, so not a big deal. For the art project, I'm gonna need a router sled to be able to drop down one half of an inch into the door as a relief so that Brie can go ahead and do some artwork in there and then we'll, we'll fill it in. Assembling the sled now, we've got our two side pieces. They're gonna go on either side of the sled and they're gonna run the full length. So we're getting ready to use this now on the door to be able to do that relief of a half an inch allowing Bree's artwork to inset inside of the door. Okay, so what exactly is this tracking thing for, Gare? Gives me a straight edge to pull against. A big bow, I can take the bow down. When you can't put this in a big machine to flatten it out, to use something like a jig like this. But I'm using it here to be able to, to run a straight edge down the side of this. And if I were to build this again, I'd found that with the smaller shanks, the quarter inch shank on my router, that it just doesn't extend safely enough without busting off because I use three quarter inch material down here for the base of this. If that was thinner, I could get my router to drop further since I needed, you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch of a plunge. And gonna be doing some sections where we're gonna cut out some straight edges and some areas around the mountains that are planned out. And go ahead and just relief this down. I to go for a pure half inch if I can. That'll give two quarters, a quarter for Bree's artwork and then a quarter for the clear coat that's gonna go on top of that. So it'll be a clear epoxy also. That's the plan. Finished up the door, got it all walked over there to another area of Shay's old room. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm building some lids for our fish tank and our sump tank. I'm just gonna use some plywood here. I really just gotta cut out the shape, put some little blocks to hold it in, and then cut out where our inlet pipe goes in. Sump tank's a little more complicated, but just get cutting away, I guess. Mm -hmm. I have the two lids done as far as cutting goes and L started painting this one. So I'm gonna finish up painting those two and then we'll probably go out and install everything. Hey sweetheart. How you doing? Oh boy. Got a lot of drool there. Get that for you. There we go. Here you go. So good. Let's see if she's level. Excuse me, boys. Here, guys. Yeah, that looks good. Power in right there. I guess we're at like finishing the wiring here, installing the pumps, and then uh, put some water in the system. What do you think, Amelia? A little cold out here today. You look cozy. I wish I had a seat like that. Bree's gonna go ahead and start her part of it, uh, getting the design laid down and start that process. My little hummingbird sketch that I did. Now I'm just trying to get it on the door here. It's really difficult to tell how high the stuff is looking down on it like this. I'd love to climb on top of it to be doing like this, but I am afraid that as stable as this might be, I don't think it'll hold the brie. The goal here is to make it look like a bird. Preferably a hummingbird would be awesome. Wing, a little snoop going on here. And then of course the eyeball I just put in. Well, the way I'm attacking this is doing the outline first and then filling it in. It's gonna be beautiful. He believes in you. So this is glass stuff. That's all it that's says. All it says. I've got a hole there, but I do not think that's gonna be big enough. So you see how there's clinks here? I think this is a clink for this, but I feel like opening up that hole more by cutting it. Uh, okay, here we go. I cut it in half. So okay. this should still click on, yeah. I don't know what the consistency is. I don't know the dry time. It says go look up on their website. That's a whole other subject. I'm just gonna go for is it. What, testing? What do you mean testing? <laughs> so I'm going to do the outline in this black stuff and I wanna make it tall enough and thick enough that I come through and fill with my colored epoxy. If I felt like a line was too thin, I would just literally come back through over the top of it and it just, would squish right in, you know? We're also going to wait on pouring the epoxy because I wanna make sure that when I mix a pigment that we'll use both that pigment for both sides. So we're not mixing pigment twice. I don't think, regardless of how careful I am with how much is used, I feel like it's just probably gonna be better if I pour everything at once. I'm pretty excited to be sharing with you my latest project, the first project in my new house here, which is gonna be like little face masks. I've got some fun patterns and some nice cotton material to help with the filtration. It should be 100% um, cotton if you have it. Drew up a pattern here, It'll be one half here, the straps are gonna come out and this is gonna be the part that sews together to kind of make that curve to hug the face. And I got a fun idea for the wire piece that goes over the nose and I'm gonna like fold the fabric over and sew them in. That way you can curve it and bend it to the shape of your nose. Got all my fun patterns. Look at this one, this one's so pretty. If you wanted to, you could probably double this up, make it extra effective. I'm gonna sew the lining alongside the part that you see with the pretty pattern. We'll sew them together. Finish sewing it together. This is just roughly how it's gonna look. Ah, cute. I'm gonna put these right sides together. Both the bad seams on the outside. We're just gonna right side it out. 
Now I'm gonna get some elastic for the straps, bread holder, the piece of wire up at the top near the nose. So that way I can shape it and form it to my nose and help keep air in. And I'm just gonna sew right around it to keep it in. I've got some little ribbon here. It's got cute little flower designs on it. I'll sew in both loops on either side and those will loop around my ears. You can do all sorts of patterns if you want. Galaxy, yellows, blues, flowers, birds, anything you want to do, spice it up, make it cheery. 100% cotton is the best type of material, so keep an eye out for that. And have fun on your mask adventures. So this is a lot more forgiving than I thought it was gonna be. You can see it's kinda shaky. I noticed, I don't have a real steady hand. I think the solution is always, if you have a shaky hand, to move faster. And so I noticed when I would move quickly, it worked out really good. A couple little scuffs, I had a scuff there, and also a scuff there, but I'm not worried about that. We chose to do white on the background for a couple of different reasons. The main one was, we felt that white would show the color of our epoxy the best. I'm realizing now it also allows us to make mistakes. We could just paint them white again. Very helpful. And in the future, we'll probably do the same thing. This will sit here until probably next week when we do the pouring. I'm pleased with the way it turned out. I think it looks like a hummingbird. That's the goal. It's, it's wings are a little small, but you know, that's okay. It only needs little wings. It's a little bird. <laughs> what you doing here, babe? Bailing this out so we can get it all cleaned up and we'll start filling the tanks up, right? Yeah. We just want our water to be clean. Installed. Should we test it? I got the shot back. Hey, the power works. Yeah. All right, now shake it around. Oh, note to self don't vacuum up stuff inside. There's a leak in our back. Got a leak. Anyway, clean that sucker up. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I cleaned up nicely. Looks like just algae and dust on the bottom. All right, well, I'm gonna get ready to pump it, I think. Fish tank nice and dark so that we don't get a lot of algae buildup. It looks good. Yeah, I think it'll work nicely. It's pretty nice, huh, Dad? That looks I mean, amazing. I think I think that those are gonna be thick enough to pour stuff into. Okay, okay. Scuffed here and I scuffed here, but I figured those would be easily covered by paint. Yep. It'll be just a little bit. It doesn't need to be much mm -hmm. to give it color. Yep, yep, yep. So. Um, How cool is that? Looking forward thanks. to it. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Let's get some water in this one and we can test fit our other one. So, I guess we're just pumping into the sump. And then we're going to use that bad boy to pump it into the fish tank. Cool. Maybe yeah, turn off the black one there. This one? Yeah, that one turns off the tank, or the grow beds. The red one is the fish tank. And the black one up there is the duckweed. So. Just the fish tanks on right now. Pump on? Yeah. That's some water flow. Details. It's working. Alrighty. Going into our first filter. Water is flowing in here, full flow all the way around. So the water flows out here, down around, and back into the tank. And I think we're working pretty good. So the transfer between the two tanks is the only spot I'm kind of watching right now because if that transfer is not fast enough, I'll overflow the fish tank and lose a bunch of water. Basically, the amount of water that's coming out of there needs to be the same amount of water that's coming into the tank here. I think we're ready to start the grow beds and letting these start filling up. So I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. I think our system's running good. 
in the next week or so we'll get fish food start building up those bacteria so put our new caps on Let's see I think the last thing to do is just to backfill this some tank in so I'm just gonna put all this dirt around there as much as I can the tanks full of water now so it's not gonna cave in the sides and that's gonna be Pretty much the last thing that we're gonna be able to do, there's a couple more things with air pumps and of course getting the system cycled. And then we're waiting on parts again. That aquaponics is really looking good, oh, isn't man, it, Gary? It's really looking sharp. I love how everything matches. You know, it looks professional. Pristine work. It's like going to be a jungle soon, hopefully. That's the hope. Jungle yes. and also a fishery. And the t-shirt design of the week is our three hummingbird designs. You might recognize this. We had talked about how much those hummingbirds had meant to us throughout the whole thing with cancer. Good now. It's cancer free yep. now. Pretty exciting. Still still good. Still good. <laughs> so uh, that's a really hopeful design. We love it. And we thought this would be a perfect week to bring that hopeful design back up again. So if you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt. Uh, I know right now I'm sporting the mama and baby goat design. Dad's over here. Sort Certified of in wingy. Yeah. Certified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Merchandise link will be down in the description. We have been getting a lot of feedback over the course of 17 weeks of the My Little Podcast. The comments are not stopping about one particular one item. One particular thing, and that is studio cam of some kind on us while we're talking. We hear you. We're not yes. quite in the position to start doing that immediately, but we are working towards that. Mm -hmm. Something that you can listen to while you work and get your projects done, too. We are continuing strong with our recaps on Wednesdays. You might have seen those. And those are subjects pulled from this show the weekly peak our variety show on friday has multiple subjects and you might be the type of person who says i just want to see one subject from beginning to end and we'll definitely be doing the one on garen and ellie's aquaponics as soon as we finish up the kitchen there'll also be a kitchen full version that'll be coming out thank you so much for being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on monday for our podcast oh yeah so let's all stay safe and stay healthy bye, bye. see ya I actually had this put on a canvas. Unfortunately, this is not in the store, but the whole kitchen is gonna have this hummingbird thing along with plants and sunflowers. I went ahead and had it on the canvas as well. So I'm pretty excited about my new little canvas. If it's pressured at any point, starts giving us the option to put in canvases in our shop. We'll be doing that too. They're always expanding. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. <laughs> We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Why is it white? We don't know. I cut this off, you know, and Chip goes diving for the piece like it's something to eat. <laughs> hey, you gotta love your dogs. Because it's all pencil and it can go Are away. Are you shaking really quickly. that pencil at me? It's more like yes, a yeah. <laughs> But it looks clean enough. <laughs> <laughs> that came out a lot faster than I thought.